What's up, kids? That's right, it's your boy Caleb here from The Game Cliff. We're going to take a look at The Long Journey Home. Downloaded this game for literally $2 off the eShop. And I read some reviews, they're kind of mixed. They tout it as like No Man's Sky meets Faster Than Light. It's neither of those games, but it has similar principles. This is definitely one of those games where you start playing and you're very excited about what the potential is. Um, on paper, it has a lot on offer. But mechanically, it leaves something to be desired. So let's let's take a look at this. We're going to start a new game. And every time you play this game, it's a little bit different. And that's kind of the whole point. You can continue where you left off, but what's really the fun in that? So what you do in this game is you basically pick a crew of four people out of you know this assortment of humanoids. Um, good old white pill. And I usually go with something that makes, you know, logical sense. Like, since we're flying a ship, this man seems to be, um, you know, the only test pilot. So we'll, we'll grab him out. He's not like an actual pilot. And, you know, we're going to space, so I would think we would need an astronaut. Um, researchers seem good. Mission planner seems important when I have that on there. Um, it's kind of hard for me to pick, you know, based on logic, any other characters when creating this that seem like realistic choices. Like, why would I pick a civilian observer? Or why would I pick a corporate executive when we're going on a journey into space? You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand this is a roguelike game, so each experience is different. But from a logical perspective, this already does not check a box for me that bothers me. So we're going to pick the engineer. Um, and that's going to be it. Now we're going to pick our ship. Now, this is the one that it defaults to. Obviously, it's you know statistically kind of nebulous as far as what any of this truly even means and pertinent to the actual game. This one seems to be the most balanced. We're going to go with that one. This is where the game really falls apart, in my opinion, is the lander. Um, the game attempts to have a sense of realistic physics, but the impl implementation of it uh, kind of lacks a really important factor in the game, meaning it's not very fun. So there's different difficulties here. This is what I believe to be the easiest one. This is the default one, Adventure Mode. This is the one that guarantees death for everyone, including more than likely any of the benevolent or malevolent alien races that you may or may not come across in your journey. Rogue Mode is just an even more punishing version of this. I couldn't imagine being skilled enough at this game to really be able to enjoy that, but you never know. Pretty decent art direction, but again, nothing really mind-blowing. All right, so every time you start this game, this is basically how it starts. Um, it tries to give you a few tips, and you're going to leave Earth in your little lander and go to space. Yay, space. Now, you can <laughs> crash and burn, like, right here. Um, let's, let's, let's leave this atmosphere, or not. Like this is not this is not how you would actually leave Earth. There's too much gravity. You wouldn't use a lander to leave Earth. That's why they strap rockets to the space shuttle Discovery. Like that isn't a thing that they do. Um, even in the future, I doubt we would come and go from Earth in that way, given that how strong our gravity is. I don't know. It's at least with the propulsion systems on offer here, that looks like a fuel-based propulsion system. And given that there is fuel. As a, anyways, so here's what the actual game looks like. It looks like a star map. This vastly disappointed me because in space you expect a little bit more art direction. So let's leave the planet. And this is where the game really turns into a pile of ass, in my opinion. Uh, it becomes not fun. Um, so there's not a lot of indicators what to do, which is cool. But unfortunately, you have to really be careful because once you reach a speed, I mean, realistically speaking, um, it's hard to change your direction. There's not exactly brakes in a zero gravity or low gravity scenario. So that, that's realistic. What bothers me about it is just how goddamn ugly this looks. Like, I don't want to see an arrow. Like, they really couldn't have used a little, you know, sprite of your ship or something to make this more interesting. So what you need to do is basically you're supposed to jump and leave your star system. Now, I don't have to. I don't have to do anything, necessarily. I can go to Pluto or Europa or, you know, wherever. I probably, probably can't go to Europa. I don't think they have all the moons down. But, um, you know, you can go to Neptune or whatever, and it's going to take you a little while to get there. Now, the other thing that this game, I guess, isn't really depicting properly, scientifically speaking, is a good concept of time. Because I've only just left Earth. And so you're telling me that I can basically get to these celestial objects like other planets um, with a similar speed that is below light travel or warp? That doesn't really make sense. And this is what I hate. Like, if I want to go to this planet, which I'm assuming is 
Jupiter. Um, I'm, I'm guessing you have to like get around it like so, and basically create your own attitude and trajectory around it to kind of go and access around this planet. And it is so much harder than it should be. Cause like, I just want to go to this planet and I'm in a spaceship, you know, like this is not as an, as a pilot, how even I as a pedestrian would approach this. So how do we get locked into the gravitational field of this planet? Well, it's a bitch and you bloody well can't. So now I'm mad. I'm going to leave this damn galaxy. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, you can't jump. No exotic matter left. So already I blew it. I blew the exotic matter. So that means we need to visit blah, 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 mining colony on Mars. Okay, so that's that's where we have to go first. Um, there's two ways to start out this game. You can basically start out past the jump, so you leave Sol, our, our solar system, and it puts you straight into the adventure of trying to figure out how to not die. <laughs> this tiny little dick of a planet, I assume, is Mars. So let's zoom into that. It auto zooms. Now we got to get our, we got to slow down, majorly, majorly. But I have to change the trajectory. This is not a fun mechanic. This is where the game really loses it. Lose thrust to point your trajectory towards a planet. And now all of a sudden the D-pad is how I can scroll around in these text windows. Yeah. See these instructions? They they really do make sense. But deceleration is not. Um, not a very effective thing, but as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a, an attitude here um, with this planet, so that's that's good. Steer your ship into the orbit ring. Decelerate if necessary. Okay. But see, look. Look at the, uh, the controls, and there's no decelerate. I was almost in a position where you can autopilot, and once doing the autopilot, you actually have, you know, a trajectory around the planet in a way that isn't terrible. So there we have it. We have now linked with this planet. And it gives you all the information about the planet, given this is one that we're, you know, pretty aware of right now. And my God, you are hauling ass around that planet. Good luck dropping a lander at that speed. Anyways, so uh, we got to kind of, you know, get down here. So let's do so. Let's dump our lander. Here's the CG sequence for that. I mean, they probably spent, you know, a little bit of money doing that part. And this is also a game that I assume is probably more of like a PC game following. I'm using a controller for it. I'm certain that is, in some ways, affecting my experience with the controls. This is where the game, on paper, looks great. So you get to go to all these randomly generated planets. This is Mars. This isn't one. But fucking A. Like, look at that. Look how look how hard I went. So I know i got to do the reverse thrust, but this is my first play. So I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing. So we follow the map to the only thing on it that looks like we need to. But the trick that I'm learning is don't, don't accelerate too quickly. But see, already... Like, you just don't have good control. And I'm not saying it isn't realistic, but, like, I, I'm pretty sure that the controls could be better. Um, let's investigate the location. This is where it switches into, like, you know, your interaction mode where you're, you know, in a base or with another alien ship or with a star base or on another planet, that kind of thing. And there's all kinds of random things that come up. And this is what I really find interesting about the game that makes it differently, uh, makes it play differently every time you play it. Um, so let's get that big EM tank. All right. And basically, we're finding out we're getting what we need. Uh, we need to return to orbit, put the antimatter into the star drive, and assault. Well, let's make like sheep herders and get the flock out of here. Whee! So every time that I do something online and someone comes online, it would interrupt my signal. Um, that's an unfortunate thing about streaming with the Switch. Um, on a computer with low resource mode. But anyways, I digress. That has nothing to do with my review of this game. So on paper, you know, and from a perspective of just looking at it, there's so much on offer here that is quite interesting. But that isn't really what the point of the game is. So let's hit select button or minus and go into the ship and do our task. There's a lot you can really do here. Um, let's have... Let's pick the person to install it. I would probably pick the engineer to install it. They seem the most, uh, you know, appropriate to do so. Cool. Um, that's done. I need any treatment right now. Okay, of course you don't. We haven't even done any bloody thing. So, and this will tell you kind of like your missions and like where you need to go and that kind of stuff to some extent, what you've done, your statistics. You have your bridge. 
Um, this can definitely be an important screen because, I mean, I have destroyed every lander I've ever had in this game because I'm incredibly bad at video games, but this one in particular. Um, and this is where you go to the lander specifically, where it'll tell you statistics about it. You can also obviously add to it. And again, this is a deep game. There is a lot, you know, that you can do with this game. It's just aesthetically very ugly. Uh, the art direction really needed a lot of work in this game. Uh, it started out pretty decent, but no. Uh, here's the quarters of your crew, and then the lab where you can research things and use items to like heal and that kind of stuff. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, um, so we've done that, and we are going to leave. We are going to leave this planet, right? Now you hold down these two buttons here, and let's just warp out. Oh, we can't. No exotic matter left. Oh, well, that's lame. What did I forget to do? So right away, that's kind of like a little gatekeeping situation where I, I guess I missed something that I need to do that wasn't, in my opinion, very clear. Um, so exotic matter tank shows the number of possible jumps. <laughs> well, zero. Use minerals or fly near sun. So why the hell am I starting out with none of that? Like, what is happening? Um, select gas, the car containers to refuel the ship. Okay. Well, let's do that. Or, or what did that just do? Select a container to blow out, out, to blow out the resource. I think I just blew out on accident some of my resources, which is a wonderful, wonderful way to start out a journey into space, is by immediately fucking yourself. This game very much frustrates me because now I'm just going in this direction. It's like, oh, it's so annoying, and this is all the game gives you to look at visually. It's not very appealing. So it really, it really fucks you. Um, so let's go to the star, and we will farm some exotic materials, because that's just what you do. You know, you go to stars, and that's fine. You know, you can survive the radiation. And there's an object approaching me. Probably some dickheaded alien. Yeah, he, he, he ignored me. I just want to warp. Oh, my God. This game annoys the living ass out of me. I was pretty stoked about it when I first played it. And very disappointed. So just a, a brief overview. The graphics um, are hit and miss for me. They're very inconsistent. There's too many different forms of art art direction in this game, in my opinion. There's just too many. Um, yay, radiation. Everyone's going to die soon, which is kind of what I want. I don't even want to leave the planet, right? So this is probably one of my worst, worst runs, honestly. Um, am I in orbit okay great uh let's see info yellow dwarf really is that is that what what it is oh no she's got anxiety well that's something i can truly understand um so now that i'm going in orbit here and you know i want to get things from this it's all of a sudden not going to let me let's see if i can somehow harvest what we need but there's no clear indicator here if you're like new and this is your first time we need to return to orbit, put the antimatter into the star drive, and install the shield. Open the ship menu and do this and do that. Yeah, we've we've done all that. Um, we have we have done that. I am pretty sure. Uh, but I also think I kind of fucked myself. We'll put the test pilot on the lander. Yeesh. And let's see what's going on here. Nothing. Database. We need to return to orbit. I've done this. Yeah. So right away, I'm hell of annoyed that this happened. So we're going to do something else. I don't, I don't even understand what I'm missing. I'm sure somebody watching this will be like, dude, you suck dick at this game. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. So we're going to do a start jump mission, right? We're going to go, okay. We're going to do this all over again because I just want to show you just the random factor of this game. And then I'm, I'm already so annoyed with how it's going. That I don't even want to play anymore. It doesn't even matter. Everyone's going to die. It doesn't matter who you pick. Let's pick the most useless people possible. It's perfect. Um, and then we want to start after the jump. So this is just stating that you know, you, you, you've you already warped past Saul. And you've left our galaxy. Um, which is where the game, quote unquote, is supposed to get interesting. And, and, it, and it can. I could see that. I mean, I may still play this game some. And again, I only play paid two bucks for this game if, if you paid more than i'd say like ten dollars for it i feel like it wouldn't be worth it but even for ten dollars there's there's a lot to this that you could get to anyways of course being a game about being lost in space uh when you warp for the first time 
you fuck your shit up, and you are literally lost in space um, at what I assume is a random location pretty much every time, but we'll find out. Cool. This is the <laughs> larger star map mode. Ugh. I mean, they could have even removed the grid from that star map, and it would have made it more appealing. If it didn't look like a low-resolution JPEG, I mean, that would be great. And this art, my God, man, if you don't have the budget for, like, good CG, just, just hand-draw it. And if you can't hand-draw it, just pay someone to do it bloody well for you. Anyways, our ship wasn't built for this. We need to find allies and upgrade if we're going to make it back to Earth. Yeah. So let's see where we ended up here. Let's see what we got. There's some kind of planet. What is this shit? Let's check it out. But, like, there's no clear indicator, like, how you slow your trajectory. Like, it, it shows you the controls and its layout there to the right, which really makes this game look like a freaking cell phone game, in my opinion. But controlling your attitude with the thrust is actually not a realistic way to do it. You should have access to a reverse thrust. But without any visual cues of your ship, it is super hard super hard to really f get a feel for what you're doing. And that that's where they really fucked up in this game, in my opinion. Like, this is so annoying. This is not a fun gameplay mechanic. This is exactly why everyone hates your game, guys. Okay, <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. This is why it didn't do as well as it could. All right, so we faked our way into this one. And let's see what we've got here. This is Debu, Random Planet. Uh, harmless apparently it's got a rocky surface well that's good we could probably land here subarctic temperature because you can even go to like gas planets you know and those are pretty pretty interesting honestly so let's uh let's go check it out i'm going to show you what it's like to just go on a random planet um because you know that's kind of what this game is more about is a, a sense of exploration it's just not very fun. And the only thing less fun than any of this is the quote-unquote combat in this game where you have the most moronic uh, gun system I've literally ever seen. Why does my... Why does it already look fucked up? Why does... Yeah, like, why would you come in that hot? You wouldn't. You would not come to the planet's surface that hot. That is super, super unrealistic. Holy crap. You would come in hella slow. So, we can at least... Uh, take a look here. Um, this kind of reminds me of what I would think Mars would be like. It's like a cold, red desert. Uh, but with a much larger star. Dude, this is so bad. Like, that is not how gravity really works. Um, like, why is it so floaty when there's no thrust? That's that You wouldn't You know. All right, what do we got here? Looks like something. Yeah. What I'm wondering is if <laughs> am I upside down? What I'm it's hard to tell because this thing's so poorly designed and it's and the way that it looks. Like what the fuck am I even flying here? But the impressive part is that you know it, there's a lot of random regeneration, dude. I'm telling you, I do not suck at games this bad. Okay. I mean, I played like all those crazy. Uh, Star Wars, like, X-Wing simulator games where the entire keyboard, oh my freaking ass, is the controls. And even that is better than this. Like, do you understand Daedalus or whatever your company, Daedalic, whatever your freaking company's name is? Like, you've made a cool game that is completely hindered by bad controls. That is literally, I would say, the only thing wrong with this game as far as, like, keeping it Jesus Christ, keeping it from actually being fun. It doesn't need to be easy, okay? I understand you want to make it like a realistic simulator, and I think that's awesome, okay? But you have to make your game fun, or it's not a game, it's a simulation. And if you're going to make it a simulation, you have to give the player more control, okay? And that is what you don't have in this game. Now I know I could get I could get good I could get good at this game, but visually the other minus of the game the other one that kind of prevents me from caring that much is unless you're on the surface of a planet like this, it, it looks like a cell phone game at best, or like a flash game you know. My God I just want to drill this I just want to drill this bitch. 
So let's let's drill. We're trying to get some fuel here. There we go. We're getting some stuff. So that's a thing that you can do. We're getting some hydrogen. Cool. And you know, I, I just think that's that's pretty much all you could really do here. Let's uh, let's leave. Oh my God. Let's let's die. <sighs> I assume that's us beaming back up to the mothership. So already I've lost my my lander. Just trying to land on this shitty ass planet to get some resources that I really don't even need, just to show you guys. And again, that's that's not the worst part. Um, it's really not. Let's warp again. Let's go straight to hell. <laughs> there we go. Looking for now, my new mission is looking for a lander. Oh my god. I, I would like to run into an alien encounter, um, just so you can kind of see what that can look like, and then. Let's go to, let's go to, is that where we are? Okay. Let's go, let's go here. We can't for some reason I don't know. Okay. Oh, that's where we are. So why was that other one highlighted? Was that meaning a place I should go or a place of interest? Anyways, the other difficulty with the controls on the lander is, is the perspective. I feel that if you were in a first person perspective, it would just be more intuitive um, for a player. Let's go check out this planet that we can't go to because I deaded. Oh my god, there's a giant object coming towards me. What is it gonna be? Oh, spaceship. Cool. If only the game looked like that. I guess you have to use your imagination. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be honest. Um, so when... Everyone hated No Man's Sky and it first came out. There were still things about it I, I thought was kind of impressive, but yeah. Oh, I can either use my weapons, which are stupid. They look like the most moronic thing you've ever seen. Um, this is what it looks like to fire your weapon. <laughs> go. Go. Like, who would do that? So let's go talk to this one and hail it. And oh, looks like we got a mechanical race. Yes. I do suck. Cool. So you can go in here and, and talk and listen to uh, aliens, which is cool. I think that's pretty cool. But what we're going to do, because we hate everyone, is we're going to kill kill everyone. That's that's the goal, in my opinion. Oh, you want to run? You should run. You're scared. Where are you going? See, even this is so annoying in this game. I, I cannot convey to you how annoying the controls are. Also, when you go into that like close-up mode where you can control your ship a little bit more and fire your weapons, you then basically have to use warp to exit that mode. That doesn't make sense. Why would you need to warp out of it? Oh my god, who's this? Who's this dude? Hopefully it's an alien race that will enslave me and murder all of us. Because these guys are so bad at their job, that there's no point even letting them be alive. Well, this does appear to be a more sophisticated alien race. Let's see what they're they're up to. Oh. What a strange vessel. Will you spar so that we can see? Yeah. Yeah, let's let's get killed. Cool. Accept. It is but a thing. Um I don't think that's enough, you know, work going into that. Like, where did you go? Because, look, your map is gone. So you got to follow this stupid little arrow. And this is not fun, guys. This is not a fun mechanic. Like, I, I, there's, there's got to be only a very... I don't even want to do this anymore. Like, I know I only paid $2 for this game, but it is so not fun that I want to delete it. And... And send them a review, you know, or at least a comment like, guys, like, you, you finished your game, but did you finish it? Like, did you try playing it? I want to look at your face when you're playing your own game. I want to see if you're even able to fake enjoying that process. But yeah, so what we're going to do now, because, you know, basically there's no point living, is I kind of curiously want to know what this big ass green thing is. Oh, it's, oh, it's you. Let's, let's crash into this planet. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, you didn't? You went around it? Well, 
okay, why can't you do that then? Like, why do you have to... I, I don't know. There's no logic. They really tried. It's like there's some seriously half-baked uh, mechanics to this game that could have been better. Oh, this is a gas planet. Oh, gas. I wish to God that I could blow us up, but I can't. I can't even do that. Ah. Warp. You just keep warping. So the goal of this game is to actually warp home. Um, to eventually get back to Saul. Because uh, for some reason you like mega jumped away. So let's take a look at the game. Let's wrap it up for the review process. The sound and music is, is decent in this game. Uh, the sound design is, is pretty good. Uh, I like it. The music wants to be epic. It could be a little more ambient. I think that would fit. It would make more atmosphere if it was. Also, the planet surfaces could use more ambiance as well. But it's okay. Um, the controls are terrible. Um, if they're trying to be realistic, then I will boost them up to a 4 out of 10. But they're too annoying for me to get into, and it created basically an unrelenting sense of disappointment uh, when I tried to play this game more than for more than 20, 30 minutes uh, to try to get into it. I, to try to get good, I just didn't enjoy that process. It's not like even a game like Demon Souls where it's like, okay, there's some mechanics that are fun. You can run, you can you swing your sword, you can roll, you know, like you can look at stuff, you can explore. And that will take us to the next part, graphically. You know what, guys? I'm going to give it, oh man, like another 4 out of 10 because there are some parts that are cool. I like that it can kind of generate these planets, but they're super low poly and there's not a lot on there. Um, and it's not, uh, it's not enough exploration per planet to really make it that interesting. Like all you can really do is mine resources and like, you know, talk to aliens or go on bases and whatever. There's no like big economy to this game or anything like that. So in gameplay, I would give this game a 1, a 1 out of 10, because it is not fun to play. And that is the most important takeaway. If a game isn't fun to play, then it ain't worth shit. So here it is. Here's my review of A Long Journey Home. It was a cool idea for a game. It was 2 bucks. I've already got my 2 bucks out of it just by checking it out and reviewing it for my channel. Would I recommend this game to anybody? No. To someone super into space and cosmology and science, absolutely not. You will find some serious flaws in the writing and what's going on here. I don't even want to go into that. And then as far as just from a perspective of people that like roguelike games, I doubt it. I doubt that this game is fun to anyone, um, which is why you don't really hear a lot of people talking about it. And when you do read other reviews, they're kind of similar to this in the sense that uh, you know people are just not into the controls. Long Journey Home. Uh, it was a long journey into making this game, and if you're going to make a sequel, it's going to be a long journey to making it good. So, there's some great ideas, but let's hope that maybe they make a sequel that makes all these ideas actually enjoyable. All right, kids, let me know what you think of this game and games like this in the comments section below. Please leave a like and share this video with your friends, because that really helps out the channel. And until next time, kids... I'll see you again. Bye.